What's the latest in the world of the Sussexes, the royal couple who have become Hollywood's most watched? Ah, the Sussex saga continues, with Meghan and Harry dancing their transatlantic ballet, keeping us all intrigued. Our Duchess Meghan, basking in California's sunshine, was recently spotted in command of a Range Rover. A seemingly mundane detail, yet it feeds the British media's insatiable appetite. Meanwhile, Prince Harry took a brief jaunt back to the UK, stealing an audience with King Charles amidst health worries. Meghan chose tranquility, staying in their Montecito haven, a decision stirring the pot once again. The British press, especially the drama-loving Daily Mail, spins a tale fluctuating between comedic longing for the Sussexes' return and barely hidden pleasure at their perceived exile. The Windsor's apparent disinterest in a Sussex reunion contrasts sharply with the media's hunger for every Sussex-related tidbit. As Meghan navigates California's roads with a smile and Harry returns to the UK, the dichotomy of their lives has never been more apparent. The British press, with their insatiable appetite for all things Sussex, continue to oscillate between longing for their return and reveling in their perceived exile. The narrative spun by the British media, particularly outlets like the Daily Mail, is as rich and as complex as a vintage port. It's a heady brew of longing, schadenfreude, and an almost comedic fascination with the minutiae of the Sussexes' lives. The Daily Mail, with its penchant for the dramatic, paints a picture of a royal family seemingly disinterested in a Sussex reunion, while simultaneously feeding the public's voracious hunger for every Sussex-related morsel. It's a dance as intricate as a ballet, a performance that keeps the press and the public on their toes, or perhaps, more accurately, at their wit's end. A simple drive in a Range Rover, a coffee mug in hand, the sun-drenched tranquility of California in the background becomes a symbol of defiance, of a woman living her life, unconcerned with the tempest swirling across the ocean. It's a narrative as seemingly mundane as it is inexplicably fascinating, a testament to the paradoxical position the Sussexes occupy in the public eye. The Sussexes, declared irrelevant by some, yet remain undeniably magnetic. Their every move, their every decision, sustains an entire industry of speculation and commentary. They are the prodigal children, the black sheep, the outsiders, yet they are also the center of the narrative, the axis around which the story revolves. The fascination with the Sussexes is a reflection of the enduring allure of the royal narrative. It's a story that continues to captivate and confound, a drama that unfolds with each passing day. The stage is set, the players are in motion, and the audience is enraptured, awaiting the next act in this ongoing royal drama. Declared irrelevant by some, yet undeniably magnetic to the public eye, the Sussexes continue to sustain an entire industry of speculation and commentary. Their ballet across the Atlantic continues, a performance as riveting as it is engaging, a dance that keeps us all, whether we admit it or not, on our toes. This saga is a testament to the enduring allure of the royal narrative, a story that continues to captivate and confound. Indeed, the royal narrative is a bewitching tapestry woven with threads of tradition, power, and spectacle. It's a narrative that's been unfolding for centuries, capturing the imagination of millions around the globe. Each thread contributes to the overall allure, the grandeur of the royal palaces, the ceremonial traditions, the pageantry, and of course, the intriguing personal narratives of its members. Enter the Sussexes, a dynamic duo whose every move, every decision, every word adds a fresh twist to this ongoing saga. They are the Mavericks, the ones who dared to step out of the well-lit stage and carve their own path. And yet, they remain an integral part of this grand narrative, their story forever intertwined with that of the House of Windsor. What makes their chapter so compelling? Is it their defiance of tradition, their pursuit of a life beyond the palace walls? Or perhaps it's the audacity of their ambition, their determination to redefine what it means to be royal in the 21st century. Whatever it is, it's clear that the Sussexes have mastered the art of keeping us on our toes, eagerly anticipating their next move. As we watch Megan, with her radiant smile and coffee mug in hand, navigate the sunny roads of California, we can't help but be drawn into her world. We find ourselves caught in the dichotomy of her existence, a duchess, yet not quite a royal, yet so refreshingly normal. 
And so, we find ourselves captivated, not just by the Sussexes, but by the entire royal narrative. It's a narrative that has been carefully crafted and meticulously maintained over centuries. It's a narrative that continues to evolve, to surprise, to challenge our perceptions. So, as we watch the Sussex saga unfold, we are reminded of the enduring allure of the royal narrative. For it's not just a story of a family, but a reflection of our society, our fascination with power, privilege, and the human condition. The stage is set, the players are in motion, and the audience is enraptured, awaiting the next act in the Sussex saga. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video. King Charles's visits to Canada and Australia might not happen.